Today we will be hot tapping a CDI 5450 flow meter on a 2 inch line at 100 psi. To begin, you want to clamp on the base assembly to the pipe and orient it so that the display, when installed, will be easily viewed. This pipe is slightly below eye level, so we're going to install it angled on the top of the pipe. Once that is firmly clamped onto the pipe, you can now install the drill guide. Install it by sliding it over the two socket head cap screws and fully to one side. Prior to drilling, make sure that the valve that corresponds to the hole the drill guide is lined up over is open. One last check prior to drilling is to make sure that the distance between the top of the drill guide and the chuck exceeds the thickness of the wall you'll be drilling into. If it doesn't, readjust the drill bit into the chuck. When backing out the bit, apply slight pressure to the valve handle so you'll know when the drill bit goes beyond the valve and it is ready to be closed. Slightly loosen the two cap screws holding on the drill guide. Slide it fully to the other side Tighten them down and repeat the same process for the second hole. Once the second hole is drilled, you're now done with the drill guide and can remove it. Next, install the slider plate over the same cap screws and tighten that. Now take the top assembly, including the probes and enclosure, and put it into the two holes and push down until they make contact with the valve. Be sure that you know the direction of flow and that it is installed correctly. Once it's sitting on top of the valves, hold the top firmly, open both valves, and push down until you hear an audible click. There'll be no more than five pounds of force pushing back at you. Finally, install the two safety screws into the side of the top assembly. Once that is done, power it up.